Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Autonauts. We are gonna finish up making our Mark II bot production going over here. And then from there, we are gonna hit up some clay deposits. And see what's going on with that. So let's get this finished up. So we need a bot bod Mark II. Oh, we don't even have a bot to do this, do we? Oh man. So I think what we gotta do, we gotta make this manually, I think. Do we got the head maker? Is he working? What's he doing? Good gear maker, so you're gonna be... Uh, I guess equipment builder, sure. Stick collector, you're going under a forestry team. Three NAs, which is fine. What are we missing here? Ah oh, yeah, bot assembly. Bot head maker, mark two. Oh, we didn't even finish him. So actually, let's instead make him the bot body maker. There we go. So we need what? Two panels, two poles, and a two fixing pegs. Not fixing pegs again. They're always empty. All right, so that's fine. We'll loop that twice. And then let's go take some poles. And now we need fixing pegs. Cut out one of those. Just save that for now. We need to go make more pegs. Again. Got everything uses pegs. It is ridiculous. So this takes four fixing pegs. That takes four. This takes two. This takes six. This takes one. This takes two. Oh my god. We're gonna need another guy making fixing pegs, I think. I don't think one bot making fixing pegs is enough. I think we need a double arrow output. Same with how we did it over here for planks and poles. I think we need to do the same for fixing pegs just cause they're used in such a high quantity that we definitely need a ton being output at once, if at all possible. So this should satisfy this bot stand in here. And then this is enough for me. And bot body maker. So now you need two fixing pegs. All right. So then watch me take it back over here. Oh, wow. Are we out of space here? Oh, no, we can take that out. Okay. Take that out as well. And then let's make, let's get the panel. Actually, we have enough memory on this guy at least. So I don't think any upgrades are needed for this one. All right, so are you gonna take this stuff? Oh no, he's finding Mark One stuff, all right. So let's finish this up, so loop that forever. Oh, we do need, we do need more memory because we need six loops. So we need to take two. Deposit until hands are empty. Take two again. Yeah, we need bot brain upgrade, but luckily we can do a basic one because we only need three more. So we should be good with just a basic upgrade. Let's go get these seeds. And then two bowls, right? Two bowls, yeah, two bowls. Wait, what was that ding noise? I heard a ding. What was that? Something finish? Maybe I'm hearing things. All right, let's give him a brain upgrade. Perfect. And then add until hands are empty. And then need also two fixing pegs. And then, ooh, this works out perfect until hands are empty. And we do the whole thing in one massive loop that says until this is full. Is this all right? Move, take, 
move. Oh, I saw a little mistake. We got to fix it. Should be move, take, move, add. Move, take, move, add. Move, take, move, add. There we go. And then let's edit this guy. So this is e easy enough just to really straightforward. Boom! Oh, look at me, so tiny. And we just throw that in a loop, and we're good. Now we're making Mark II bots. The real holdup now is just going to be raw materials, but eventually we'll have a bunch of Mark II bots. 20 kilobytes, no way! How much do normal bots have? So this is 12, 16, oh, they got an extra four. That's like a free brain upgrade right there. That's not too bad. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's a ton more materials when a bot upgrade, brain upgrade is just two poles, two tree seeds. But dang, that is definitely helpful. I like how tiny they are. That's amazing. All right, so this one needs to be the head maker, unfortunately. Bot head maker? Make Maller? No, nope, maker. Mark two. It's such a pity that we need to use this guy just for planks, poles, and tree seeds. But it's got to be done. Oh, we took from the wrong storage. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Can this bot do something extra? Oh my god, I think it can. I think this bot has an extra feature. So we only need one of these. What? What is this? Oh my god, we can on the fly reprogram them now. That is amazing. So you don't have to completely undo your code to do this. Oh, that is so useful. If I'm ever reassigning bots or need to like add or change up what they're doing, that is amazing. All right, let's continue. Let's do two more bowls. Add those and then two tree seeds. Tree seeds way over here, which sucks, but He's like a mini me. All right, and then we got bot heads made. Yeah, we're waiting for fixing pegs now. So actually, once we finish programming this, let's get another bot that is gonna help make fixing pegs because that's ridiculous. And actually we can use these basic bots to make fixing pegs. It's a simple enough task because it's just poles. So I don't think it's anything we need crazy big bot to do. All right, this should be good. Actually, no, this is not good. Never mind. So now we do everything needs two. Oh, this still needs a brain upgrade. Take two. Add until hands are empty. Also take two again, add until hands are empty. We only need two more kilobytes. Actually, no. I think we're good, actually. Never mind. Add, take two, and add. Oh my god, just enough. So I guess it is a good thing we had that bot doing this. Take two, take two, take two. Nice. Oh my god, he is quick! Look at that! Look at that speed! Oh wow. Can I... Can I kill bots? Can you trash them? You can. Is that a project? Should we do that as a project maybe? Oh my god, we got another bot! Oh, look at the baby! Alright, let's get another fixing peg chopping block made. Before I get all crazy about the little mini bots. Uh, where is it? Here it is. What's it called? Log and an axe. Okay. I should have made it up here, but I can run. It's not a big deal. And it looks like another charging bot died. 
My god, I'm a slow walker. I'm a slow walker. And then we need an axe. Luckily, the axes are full. Spades are getting there, but luckily there's not a big hold up. Oh my- oh lord. We have a massive reserve of logs, so it doesn't matter that these are dead right now. It does matter, but it's not super terrible that they died, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Crankerbot, where are you? Here you are. You're always dying, like, in the middle of charging something. You're never dying off by yourself, you're always like, wrist deep into another bot. And then you die. Alright, let's crank this one as well. Oh wow, they're all dying. And then, this is Crankerbot. I think this Crankerbot handles this. Okay, that should be good. So many blinky things, that's when you know everything's bad when everything blinks. Alright, so now we need this. You just do one of these basic bots. Wooden peg maker. Is it wooden peg or is it just peg maker? I feel like it's not wooden peg. Fixing peg, that's it. Fixing peg maker. So you need a pole. And I think they only have three stored. Where where am I? Where is he? Uh fixing peg maker? Where'd you go? Oh, you're still over here. I gotta go see exactly how much storage he has. I think they these little ones carry three. Yep, three. Three and no backpack, so that's fine. He'll make slightly less. Not a huge deal. So condense that. I hope we don't need a better bot to do this. We might though. And it might be worth it. Cause then we can just use this bot to feed. Okay, we're just gonna do this three times. All right, he has enough storage to do it. So let's just leave this like this until we find, unless we find right here that there's something, like there's some reason why this would not work. So that should go like that. And then you gotta pick up, add here. Oh. All right, so you're not gonna work. Never mind. And I can't upgrade you, so yeah. You are useless to me. You are 100% going to be to feed colonists. That's going to be your only job. So please get out of here. So you are fixing peg maker. Let's see how quick this guy runs. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him go! So much quicker. Well, what we can do is have him record at least the pickup part. And the deposit part. I'm curious. What story is he have? He has six hands! Six hands and two backpacks! What? Oh, that is great. He can make so many pegs. Oh. Oh, baby. So many pegs this guy can make. Now I'm kicking myself for making so many of these Mark 1 bots. Wait, why can't I pick this? Oh, I got a fixing peg in my hand. Are you kidding me? There we go. So this guy's gonna end up making a ton of fixing pegs for us. And he's quick. I love it. All right, so if he makes six, it's gonna make 12 total. So let's see, we need to do, move to storage, take poles until your hands are full. That'll take six poles. Then move to chopping block, add them all. So that will make 12 pegs. So now we repeat this part twice. And then we do until your hands are full, find the fixing pegs, move to it, pick it up. And then once you pick them up, add all the fixing pegs. 
until your hands are empty to the storage, and then we do that again. So I'll do six the first time, six the second time, and then we're good. And then we do that all until this is full. Right, this should work. I'm hoping. All right, there's this fixing peg maker. Let's see, let's see how much quicker this guy is. He got a little bit of a head start, so let's keep that in mind. I think he actually pulls from storage quicker. Those flew out of there. Actually, no, it's the same time. Never mind. Let's see if there's any quicker making. Uh, the making process is the same, it looks like. We'll be able to do a good test once he comes in here. Two. Okay, let's see if the interval's roughly the same. Finishes, finishes. It's almost back-to-back -back finishing. Okay, so they finish. They go at the same time. It looks like he might walk a bit faster. But he had definitely has the better brain better storage all that that's great so he should take six of these oh he picks these up rather slow four five oh i love that two three four five six that is gonna help so much Oh, baby. So what's going on here? Why is this stuck? Why do you have a stick in your hand? I swear, you leave these bots alone for one second, and they're off grabbing sticks. Give me this. Take pull. You already had a pull. Wait. Why did this get jammed up? Take two panels. Oh, you can't take two panels. You can only carry one at a time. Got it. So what we got to do is this. We go like that. Then we can delete that. So he'll do that part twice. Got it. I forgot panels take out four slots so we can't carry both. So let's... Let's finish this bot part off ourselves then. Actually, we don't... He did record that. It's so heavy. Perfect. So now he should go get two panels. One panel at a time, but add both. Oh no, he's got a... St still got the stick. Give me that stick. Uh, body maker. Give me, give me, give me, give me the stick. What are you doing? What are you doing? There you go. Our crank died again? Are you kidding me? Is this one dead? No, you didn't die. Oh my god, why do we have so much love? Oh, oh yeah, our research. We were just letting it pile up. Just because I have too much going on. So everything's starting to get automated. So we're getting a good amount of fixing pegs now. Yeah, we finally have a little bit of an excess. You know what? Let's get this log cabin. Let's see what this log cabin does real quick. I get so easily distracted in this game. I think it's because I leave everything. Like, I leave everything half done, and then I see it. it crosses my eye. I'm like, oh, maybe I should fi finish that. How many is this? Six? Ew. That's a lot. I'm guessing we just add a colonist to this, but they probably... What? Six planks. Alright. I didn't realize this was a multi-stage thing. What else now? Insulation? You need insulation? Alright, log cabin three. Nice. Ooh, that sucks a little. Because... Actually, it might work out. Oh, good. We spaced everything out, so we can just do in-place upgrades. Cool. I wish you could click on these and just click upgrade like you can with the workbenches. That'd be awesome. All right, making gears. 
All right, so let's get some bots going for clay deposits. So before we do that, let's get storage because we know we're going to need it. Bunch of planks of poles. And where am I at? I'm never anywhere I expect to be. Where am I? I have a baby. Why do, why, what? Why do I have a baby? No, put him down. I was wondering where the heck I was. Apparently I was kidnapping a colonist. There you go. All right, so we gotta make three storage crates and then this will hold all of our clay, hopefully. Hopefully clay isn't something where we need a ton and ton of it. Oh, dang it. Let's get these planks off the floor. All right, so what are we gonna need for this? We're gonna need one to shovel and one to pick up. Just like the, the stone, I think that's it. I don't think anything else needs to be done with the clay beyond that. At least for right now, I don't think anything else needs to be done. All right, let's move this storage. And let's just put it right there. So you're going to be clay digger. You need to get a shovel, right? It's shovel. I hope it's shovel. It's got to be shovel. Yep, shovel. Cool. Oh, come on. Why are you always dying? I'll program him once. Once I'm done with this. Ooh, I got an idea. Because this bot has so much memory, can we do this? Okay, we'll do a forever loop, and we'll do until your hands are empty. You will find clay, use item. Then once you're done, once you dig one, put it in your pocket, pick up the clay, Throw it into storage. Take out your thing out of your pocket again and repeat. All right, let's see. Will this work? So, as long as he has a shovel in his hand, he'll find a clay deposit, move to it, use his shovel. He'll put his shovel in his backpack. He'll find clay. Move to it, pick it up, add it to storage, take his shovel back out of his backpack, and repeat. And then, if his hands are ever empty from his shovel breaking, which would be at this point, he'll then go get a shovel. The only thing I could see happening is if a shovel breaks and he does stow held item, that might break if he has nothing to stow. Hopefully it knows to skip over that. But let's just give this a try. We can save on a bot here. And the only way we'll be able to tell is if we let him go for a while. Like, if we come back in like an hour and he's still digging, we know he never hit a hiccup. But if we come back in five minutes and he's stuck right here, then we know we'll have to separate it out. Okay, it looks to be working. Now I'll take a shovel back out and dig. Nice. That is so awesome. All right, we'll just have him go. Nice, one bot, just for that. That means we could actually do the same with stone. We could actually do the same with stone then. Oh, let's get this cranker bot fixed. Oh, this cranker bot died again? Okay, where's the one with his hand up someone else's butt? Is it you? Yep, it's you, cranker bot Zoro. Oh no, you're just looking. Wait, why aren't you? It's not cranker bot Zoro, it is. Crankerbot 1. He died just outside the area, I think. Yep. Wait, so why are these dead? Oh, the area must be this line, and this guy only patrols this line? 
Oh, wow. Wait, who are you charging? Oh, you're charging that guy. Oh, wow, we still got a Mark 1 bot. Not even a Mark 1 bot, or a basic bot chopping these trees. Nice. That's working out really well. Okay, so now what can we work on? We got cooking. Crude cooking pot, what does that cost? Let's see, food, crude cooking pot. It's not there. Clay pot. So we're gonna have to make a clay pot, no doubt. Oh, we're gonna probably need a kiln and all that too. Aren't we? Yep. Wait, did I not get the technology for that? Oh, here it is. Crude mixing pot. There you go. Clay, sticks, and a torch. Clay, sticks, and a torch. You know what? We can probably make that real quick. Crude mixing pot. That shouldn't take too long. Crude. Oh, we got a barn, too. Totally forgot. There you go. Crude mixing pot. What does this even cost? Six blanks and a pole. Oh, now what's dead over here? Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Oh my god, the fixing pet guy died already? Holy crap. He must use a lot of energy. Oh wow, we're still not caught up with pegs. Oh wow. It's gonna take a while to catch up with pegs, if ever. Just because so many things use multiple pegs at a time. I don't know if we'll ever catch up with pegs. Okay, crude cooking pot. Oh, do I just upgrade this? Yeah, I do. Four clays, four sticks, and a torch. And a torch is what? Four, one stick. Oh, hey again. Or straw, I should say. So what do we need for that? A scythe? And we needed a flail. Scythe and a flail. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to get a wheat farm set up. No, no, I want this. Cow, don't you come over here. I'm watching you. Oh, he wants milk, or does he have to be milked? <laughs> he doesn't want milk, what am I saying? Of course a cow doesn't want his own milk. He needs to be milked. Well, today I learned you can actually milk the cows in this game. I have not touched farm animals yet. I don't know if I was supposed to. I haven't even been following any of the plans anymore. I've just been doing my own thing. All right, let's get our straw and get out of here. Uh, click it, there we go. Get ourselves a torch. And then four clay, which is right here. I don't know if his shovel ever broke. It's probably getting there. You know what? It probably actually already did break with 14 clay in there. I think it breaks probably after like 10. So my guess is that broke already. Oh, 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 he's still going. And then four clay. Let's go get the clay, shall we? Did he really just eat all the seeds? Oh, that bastard. Cal thinks he owns the joint. Eat all the seeds, I can't believe that. I thought he just ate the, the straw. Guess he's tired of his diet of grass. I really wanna know if that bot functioned properly. All right, nice. There we go, we got that plan done. Woo, we got an apron and a shove hat. Woo, new slab, it's growing. All right, what other plans do we have actually? I have not checked these in a while. I guess we were just going in order, huh? So farming vegetables, pumpkin patch, basic pottery, zero crop, soil hoed. Oh, that's what a hoe would be for. Got it, got it. So yeah, I think next time we definitely 
definitely should get our farming set up for wheat. I think while we do that, that'll be a good time for kind of all these resources just to really start stock start stockpiling. Like once we can get gears fully stocked and these frames and the panels, then these fixing pegs can start catching up. This wood pile definitely caught up, which is great. We might want to expand it a bit actually. But yeah, I think while we work on farming on the next episode or two, all this will have time to catch up. And then I think we will be in a good spot at that point. So that's the plan for the next episode. So take it easy, everyone.